Hello and welcome to this hair shader pack I've created for Unreal Engine 4. Now in this pack you'll see some examples of different hair colours but the same hair wig. Now this will still work for most hair types and any current hair setups. You just have to make sure that you understand how these maps work here. So like this one for example are some hair strands that have been assigned to these hair planes and there's this alpha version or an opacity mask which helps drive where they are cut out or faded and then there's a normal map that corresponds with these and there's also an additional frizz map which is kind of generic just some little vertical noise pips that help um, break up the monotony of the hair and you get full control of that through these sliders here so let's go into Let's go into one of these and make a new one actually. So if I duplicate this by alt dragging and also make a new hair, I'll just duplicate one of these and call it demo. Okay, and then just double click this. This has got everything we need. So you'll see there's a whole lot of control. There's control of the colors mainly. So you might just want to go straight in it and then just change the colors to something. Like let's do some crazy pink here. Let's change the root color to kind of dark pink. You can also change the power of that here and the tip color make a little bit whiter something like that and let's start messing around with these parameters so you've got the anisotropic bend here you've also got some of the frizz tiling you know vertically and horizontally so if you want it to be longer strands just reduce the Y tiling, so let's change that to like 0.5, and then you can just mess around with the the X tiling. Uh, frizz effects color, you can see how that starts to kill some of the color there. Uh, affects the shininess, specular. Uh, there's also the normal map power, so you can see it just taking it down to zero defaults it back to like a normal. Uh, flat tone and then you can bring in the normal map to a certain degree you've got the opacity level so that you can decide when all these uh, strands begin to fade you've got some self elimination in case you want glowy hair or you want to just give it a little boost shininess for shininess spec level that brings in kind of like reflections if you like and you can change it so that it inherits more of the color but it kind of makes it fade a little bit so it's good to fine tune that you've got a fresnel base here and some other tones and you've got a modulate to help bring in the kind of secondary strand so these are all tied together play with these until you get something that you like and that's looking more like hair now So once you've got all these set up, it's really easy just to then play about with the colours until you get, you know, a desired look for your character. As I say, it's good to keep the, the base tones like high and low tones. So basically the same, the same colour but you can make them two tone. You've got this one here and this one. And if you feel it's too shiny, just take down the spec level and the shininess. And if you want it to be darker in the root, you can just increase the Fresnel power or mess around with these values. And also you can change the root color to be darker and boost it. And 
and there you have it that's pretty much uh, how I'm doing my hair these days you can see my, my actual hair planes are kind of intersecting a little bit here and there because I'm still getting used to making hair but pretty happy with the results overall you can see a little bit there but a bit of practice with that and I'll get that better so I hope you enjoyed watching this little video and I hope you can make good use of this uh, hair shader pack uh, as you can see, the material master here isn't too complicated, and I've done my best to tell you what each bit does. There's a few clamps, lerps, multiplies, and adds and things going on, but nothing too too um, technical. The most technical thing is probably the fresnel, uh, but otherwise it's just some simple math and some pushing at the normal maps and things to get that kind of anisotropic effect. So yeah, hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.